Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week at Microsoft's Surface event, as I have been posting, Microsoft announced that we would not be getting our 23H2 feature update starting to roll out this week, but that would be delayed until a little bit later in the, in the fourth quarter of uh, this year. And instead, we would be getting an update to Windows 11 version 22H2, which is also referred to now as the Moment 4 update for version 22H2 of Windows 11. Now, obviously, with this announcement, uh, Microsoft did, con uh, did cause a bit of confusion. So what I thought we could do in this video is just uh, collate um, everything that um, I have been posting on over the last week and just to bring a bit of clarity into the situation in case you do find yourself a little confused as to the change now and the change to schedule of the rollout of these feature updates over the next coming weeks and over the next months moving on to the end of the year. Now, first of all, uh, let's talk about moment four. And by the way, all previous video links will be down below if you want more um, detailed information. Now, talking about Moment 4, um, last week on the 23rd of September, Microsoft started pushing out the Moment 4 update, KB5030310, to insiders in the release preview channel, where obviously that update now is undergoing its final testing before Microsoft rolls Moment 4 out uh, to the general public this week. Now, moving on now to the actual rollout of Moment 4. If we head to the calendar, Moment 4 is arriving tomorrow on the 26th of September. And in my region, that will be late tomorrow on the 26th. And it will be part of the optional bug fix C release updates, an update that will be rolling out and do roll out in the fourth week of every month. And if we head over to our Windows Update page, as I have mentioned previously, if you have, get the latest updates as soon as they're available turned on. Then you will start receiving uh, the Moment 4 features, the new features that will be rolling out with Moment 4, which, as I have mentioned previously, will include the new Windows Copilot, which will still be in preview, the new Modernized File Explorer, new text authoring experiences to voice access and new natural voices in Narrator, and uh, the new Windows Backup app, just to mention a couple of the features. And um, as I mentioned uh, last week, uh, Microsoft said that a more complete list of features will be shared this week on September the 26th, which will be tomorrow. So we'll look out for that one. S and then if you don't have this turned on, if you don't have get the late, latest updates as soon as they're available turned on, what will happen is then you will only get the bug fixes rolling out. You won't get the new features, but you'll get the bug fixes. And you'll only start receiving Moment 4's new features if you have that turned on. Now, moving on to October. Now, if you don't decide to install the update, the Moment 4 update this week, what's going to happen is moving back to the calendar, moving into October. On the 10th of October, which will be the second Tuesday of next month, the Moment 4 update will arrive as part of uh, this update, the 10th of October, the Patch Tuesday updates. And as many of you know, the Patch Tuesday updates are mandatory compulsory updates. So um, regardless if you have this toggle turned on or not, next month, as part of the Patch Tuesday updates, that the Moment 4 uh, features will be pushed out automatically to your device um, as a mandatory update. So just take note of that. Now that's the moment for feature updates out of the way. Now moving on to 23H2. Now 23H2 was scheduled to start rolling out this week, but as mentioned, that's changed now. So 23H2, I would suggest, because Microsoft has said that 23H2 will start rolling out later on this year in the fourth quarter, where we are finding ourselves already and moving on into, into October. So I would suggest that 23H2 will start rolling out as part of the optional bug fix updates at the end of October, around about the 24th of October. And then moving into November will then become a mandatory update starting the 14th of November, which will be the Patch Tuesday, second Tuesday of that month. So that's give or take the rollout phase 
Um, just to bring a bit of clarity into the situation, as because as mentioned, uh, Microsoft maybe did cause a little bit of confusion by chopping and changing that rollout schedule. And I hope this uh, video brings a little bit of clarity as to the rollout now of Moment 4 arriving, starting to roll out um, tomorrow, moving in uh, to officially rolling out in October and then moving on later on into the fourth quarter, as Microsoft has said, with the 23H2 feature update, which will bring the remaining new features um, as part of the 23H2 feature update. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.